Hello friends, today's question, a particle of 20 gram is released with an initial velocity 5 meter per second along the curve from point A as shown in figure. The point A is a height h from the point B. The particle slides along the frictionless surface. When the particle reaches at point B, its angular momentum about O will be taking g as 10. So this is the figure. So at A, point A is at a height h from B and initial velocity at point A is given as 5 meter. And we are supposed to find out what will be the angular momentum at about this point A for point O, which is at a distance of 20 meter from B. So in this case, first of all, we are going to use the conservation of energy and we are going to find out what will be the velocity at point B. So let us say energy at A. Energy at point A. So here we are going to have two energy, both kinetic as well as potential, because it is imparted an initial velocity as 5 meter. So therefore we can say kinetic energy at point A, let us suppose is given as kinetic energy A, this will be equal to half m and let us suppose velocity is V A square. So mass is given as 20 gram, this is half, this will be 0 0.20 multiplied by velocity is 5 and it's whole square. Therefore, we are going to get kinetic energy at A will be coming as 0.25 joules. Similarly, we can find out the potential energy at point A. So potential energy at point A, let us suppose is given as PEA and this will equal to MGH. Height is given as 10 meter, mass is 0 0.20 and g is 10, h is 10. Therefore, we get potential energy at point A will be equal to coming as 2 joules. Therefore, the total energy at point A will be equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. We can say total energy at point A, let us suppose is given as TEA will be equal to kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A. So we are substituting respective values. Total energy at A will be equal to 0.25 plus 2. This will be equal to 2.25 joules. So this is the total energy at point A. Now let's find out the energy at point B. Energy at point B. So at point B, the only energy will be the poten uh, kinetic energy because the mean height of point B is 0. So we can say kinetic energy at point B will be equal to kinetic energy, let us say B is equal to half m Vb square, where Vb is the velocity at point B. Therefore, we can say total energy total energy at point B will be equal to potential energy at B plus kinetic energy at B. Potential at B is 0. So we can say our TEB will be equal to 0 plus half m v b square which will be equal to half m v b square. 
So now using the conservation of energy, you can see. conservation of energy total energy at a will be equal to total energy at point b at a we already know a is our 2.25 and with b is half m v b square so from here we can say v b square will be equal to 2.25 multiplied by 2 and mass is 0 0.20 so our velocity at point B will be coming as 15 meter per second and we are supposed to find out angular momentum angular momentum at point B about point zero will be equal to let us suppose that is called as L which may be equal to linear momentum multiplied by R R is the distance so here distance is given as 20 and P is our mass into VB multiply by the distance so substituting the value we get L is equal to mass is 0 0.20 multiply by 15 and multiply by 20 so therefore the angular momentum will be coming as 6 meter per second so this is angular momentum at point B with respect to point 0 oh sorry and for option we can say that option number D is the correct option option D is So this completes the question. Thank you.